Hello, and welcome. In this video, we will walk through a detailed solution to a circuit analysis problem. The goal is to calculate the value of a load resistor, which we'll call RL, that will absorb the maximum possible power from the circuit. We will also compute the value of this maximum power. This problem is a classic application of the maximum power transfer theorem, which involves finding the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit. Let's begin by looking at the original circuit diagram. We have a 120 volt DC voltage source on the left. This source is connected in series with a 10 ohm resistor. This combination is then connected to a central branch containing our variable load resistor, RL. In parallel with this central branch, there is another branch on the right. This rightmost branch contains a 5 ohm resistor in parallel with a 6 ampere DC current source, with the current flowing upwards. The load resistor, RL, is connected between two terminals, which are labeled A at the top and B at the bottom. To solve this, we will use Thevenin's theorem. The theorem states that any linear electrical network with two terminals can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source, called the Thevenin voltage or VTH, in series with a single resistor, called the Thevenin resistance or RTH. According to the maximum power transfer theorem, a load resistor will receive maximum power from a source circuit when its resistance, RL, is exactly equal to the Thevenin resistance, RTH, of the source circuit. So, our first step is to find RTH. To find the Thevenin resistance, RTH, we need to look back into the terminals A and B where the load resistor was connected. The procedure requires us to turn off all the independent sources in the circuit. For a voltage source, Turning it off means replacing it with a short circuit, which is essentially a wire with zero resistance. For a current source, turning it off means replacing it with an open circuit, which is a break in the wire. So, let's modify our original circuit. The 120 volt voltage source is replaced by a short circuit. The 6 ampere current source is replaced by an open circuit. After making these changes, we look at the resistance between terminals A and B. We can see that the 10 ohm resistor and the 5 ohm resistor are now connected in parallel with each other across these terminals. Now, we can calculate the equivalent resistance of these two parallel resistors. This equivalent resistance will be our Thevenin resistance, RTH. The formula for two resistors in parallel is their product divided by their sum. So, RTH is equal to 5 ohms in parallel with 10 ohms. Mathematically, this is written as RTH equals the fraction with 5 times 10 in the numerator, and 5 plus 10 in the denominator. The numerator, 5 times 10, is 50. The denominator, 5 plus 10, is 15. So, RTH is equal to 50 divided by 15. This calculation gives us a Thevenin resistance of approximately 3.33 ohms. As per the maximum power transfer theorem, the value of the load resistor RL for maximum power absorption must be equal to the Thevenin resistance. Therefore, RL is equal to 3.33 ohms. This is the first part of our answer. Now that we have the value of RL, we need to find the maximum power, Pmax, that it can absorb. The formula for maximum power is Pmax equals the Thevenin voltage squared, divided by 4 times the Thevenin resistance. That is, Pmax equals VTH squared over 4 times RTH. This means our next major step is to find the Thevenin voltage, VTH. The Thevenin voltage is the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B. To find it, we go back to the original circuit and remove the load resistor RL, leaving the terminals A and B open. VTH is the voltage difference between point A and point B. The solution provided in the image takes a specific approach to find VTH. It first analyzes the rightmost part of the circuit. It calculates a voltage value by multiplying the 6 ampere current by the 5 ohm resistance. This is written as V equals A times R, which is 6 amps times 5 ohms, giving a result of 30 volts. This 30 volt value is then used to calculate the current flowing through the left loop of the circuit, which is labeled as I1. This current I1 flows from the 120 volt source through the 10 ohm resistor. The calculation for I1 is shown as the difference in voltages divided by the sum of the series resistances in that path. So, I1 equals open parenthesis 120 minus 30 close parenthesis, all divided by open parenthesis 10 plus 5 close parenthesis. 
The numerator, 120 minus 30, is 90. The denominator, 10 plus 5, is 15. So, I1 is equal to 90 divided by 15, which gives a current of 6 amperes. Now that we have the value for the current I1, we can find the Thevenin voltage, VTH, by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, or KVL, to the leftmost loop. Let's start from the negative terminal of the 120 volt source and move clockwise. The KVL equation is, negative 120 volts, plus the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor, plus the Thevenin voltage VTH, all equals zero. The voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor is 10 times I1. So the equation is, negative 120 plus 10 times I1 plus VTH equals zero. We just calculated I1 to be 6 amperes, so we substitute this value into the equation. This gives us, negative 120 plus 10 times 6 plus VTH equals zero. 10 times 6 is 60. So the equation simplifies to, negative 120 plus 60 plus VTH equals zero. Combining the constant terms, negative 120 plus 60 is negative 60. So, we have, negative 60 plus VTH equals zero. By adding 60 to both sides, we find that the Thevenin voltage, VTH, is equal to 60 volts. We now have both values needed to calculate the maximum power, VTH is 60 volts and RTH is 3.33 ohms. Let's use the maximum power formula, max equals VTH squared divided by 4 times RTH. We substitute our values into this formula. Max equals 60 squared, divided by the product of 4 and 3.33. First, let's calculate the numerator, 60 squared, which is 60 times 60, equals 3600. Next, let's calculate the denominator, 4 times 3.33 equals 13.32. So, max is equal to 3600 divided by 13.32. Performing this division gives us a result of approximately 270.27. The unit for power is watts. So, the maximum power, max, is 270.27 watts. To summarize our findings. The value of the load resistor RL that will absorb the maximum power from the circuit is equal to the Thevenin resistance, which is 3.33 ohms. The maximum power that this resistor will absorb is 270.27 watts. This concludes our step-by-step -step analysis of the problem. By applying Thevenin's theorem and the maximum power transfer theorem, we were able to determine both the required load resistance and the resulting maximum power.